Hi friends, brothers and sisters. My name is Tin and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's Gospel is from Matthew 19 verses 23 to 30 and it gives us two paradoxes. First is that the richer we are of earthly possessions, the more we are in need. Jesus says that it's nearly impossible for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Why? Was it just because he hated wealthy people? No, not really. You see, wealth can be dangerous for us in many ways. It can give us a sense of false security, thinking that we can do it all on our own, we can rely on our possessions, and that we no longer need God. Imagine if you had all the wealth, all the fame and power in the world. It would be easy to neglect your relationship with God or neglect the importance of prayer, like thanking God for His unexpected graces or asking God to help you in difficulties. It's dangerous because wealth can make us think that money can buy the peace, happiness, and security that our heart searches for. Wealth can make us neglect our relationship with God, therefore making us more in need of Him. Maybe it's good to ask ourselves, what are the riches or possessions that I currently have? And do these help me or hinder me from deepening my relationship with God? Wealth can also lead us to selfishness. Imagine closed fists. When we possess many things, this is our likely response, to keep everything for ourselves. And it makes us reluctant to share with others the blessings that we have, which leads us to the second paradox. The more we grasp and keep things for ourselves, the more we lose them. But the more we give away, the more we gain. Jesus says in verse 29, And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my name's sake will receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. Sometimes wealth makes us think that we live in scarcity that we need to keep things for ourselves because there's not enough for everybody. I need to cling to my possessions or it's every man for himself. But the fundamental truth of our Christian faith is this. God is a generous God and he desires to give us all the gifts, all the graces, all the blessings, all the joy we can possibly receive. He loves us and he desires for us to be happy. But for us to receive God's generosity, we need to open our hands. Again, the more we grasp and keep things for ourselves, the more we lose them. And the more we give away, the more we gain. If we are willing to open our hands to ask for God's graces and to receive God's goodness, and if we're willing to open our hands to share it with others, the more we will receive. God's grace, that's our real treasure and our real wealth. Jesus offers us a treasure that money can't buy and power can't steal. Jesus offers us the greatest treasure, himself. Maybe a good thing to ask ourselves is, what do my fists or hands look like at present? Are they closed or are they open? And what is my real treasure or my greatest treasure in life? Is it something worldly or earthly or is it Jesus Christ? Friends, today I pray that all of us will receive the grace to open our hands so that we can ask for more of God's goodness and so that we will be able to share His love to everybody we meet. May our ever-generous God bless us all. If you have been blessed and inspired by this reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Tin. Thank you and have a great day.